Lucas Media, wow. AJ versus Francis Ngongwa, I don't even know what to say. Um, AJ put him completely to sleep. He was out of there. Um, break the fight down real quick. First round looked like they was both respecting each other's power. Um, I did see AJ kind of land a couple shots. They both look kind of stiff, but um, I personally thought that AJ was trying to get a feel for the fight. And then at, towards the end of the, uh, the first round, hit him with that straight right hand, and that was it. You would have thought it was almost over, right? But then, of course, he got up and AJ got a little bit more of a feel. But then, I mean, the second round, what else more is there to be said? Uh, straight, uh, overhand right, <laughs> straight right, it's over. Over. You could tell Francis Ngagwa was knocked out because his leg, like, like it was like his leg kind of snapped back a little bit. Go back and watch the old Ward Jones fight. I forgot who he, which brother he fought, but uh, when he got hit and you seen his leg bend back. I ain't gonna lie, I did pay for the fight. It was, uh, what, 40 bucks? Um, I know I'm not a pay-per-view fan, but I do want to support these brothers getting paid. So I went ahead and purchased it. Um, this really goes to show you that two things. Number one, Francis Ngago had no business being in the ring with a heavyweight fight. I've been saying that. Go back and look at my old videos. And you had people in there defending that. Talking about, oh, he's a power puncher. The boxing world's never seen nothing like him. And okay sure whatever right and then this also goes to show that tyson fury was really out of shape and was too busy playing around in there which is why he got dropped going up against francis he was like an amateur against aj aj didn't really crack no no smiles during the fight no expression because he was just i mean come on now for all y'all who keeps talking about mma fighters can cross over and i, I remember when floyd was going up against conor mcgregor and people was talking about Floyd's never fought by like Connor. Just like if Floyd would step in the ring in the octagon, it's the same thing when they try to step into boxing. They both don't translate. You know what I mean? Both of them are great in their own entities, but come on now. Y'all really think that Connor was gonna be Floyd? You really think that Floyd was gonna be Connor in the octagon? Seriously. But I mean, you know, hey, shout out to uh, Riyadh again, Saudi Arabia. Unlike uh, the american promoters they're actually able to make the fights that people want to see and they even had a video game for them brothers yeah it was more street fighter graphics but when have you when was the last time you seen uh any of the american fighters have their own games anybody that's uh the under the pbc or top rank or um any of them lou de bella any of them, when have you ever seen them have their own games and stuff Man, y'all better Saudi man, Riyadh, they okay. <laughs> I see I really see it. they trying to get into live TV, so live events. Y'all see um Tyson Fury and um uh I'm Tyson Fury, I'm tripping. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You see they finna fight in uh in in the summertime. Oh, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> but I mean, I might end up breaking out a fight a little bit more later on. I mean, I'm not surprised by it. Y'all really shouldn't. There's people talking about AJ is back. He was already back because I didn't put no stock in him really beating Francis Ngangu. Somebody who had a second professional fight. You know what I mean? Like, we, we got to keep it real over here. But, I mean, hey, shout out to both them brothers for getting paid. You know what I mean? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?